Hello and welcome to WP Forms. In this video, we're going to learn how to easily and quickly create a file upload form using the WP Forms plugin. A file upload field is a great feature to have if you're creating a form like a job application where you'd like a user to attach a resume, cover letter, or a recommendation. This also works great for any instance where you'd like a user to submit their own content or any type of media to you through your site's forms. After you log into your WordPress site, let's first go to the plugins page and install WP Forms to your site. If you haven't done so already, you can download the plugin from the Downloads tab in your WP Forms account area. Don't have a WP Forms account? No problem. Go to wpforms.com forward slash YouTube to get 50% off your purchase. Afterwards, we can head back to our WordPress site and on the plugins page, We'll click on the Add New button on the top left corner and then click on the Upload Plugin button. We'll then choose our file and select WP Forms and activate it once it's done installing. Once the plugin is installed and activated, we'll need to verify your copy of WP Forms by entering the License key in the Settings page of WP Forms. You can find this key on the Downloads page of your WP Forms account. Once the license key has been verified, we're all set and ready to get started on our form. The pro level of WP Forms comes with a form template pack add-on that has tons of different pre-made forms to choose from, which can save you a lot of time if you don't want to make something from scratch. We'll want to head over to the add-ons page, find the form templates pack add-on, click on the install add-on button, and once it's activated, we'll head over to the form builder. Go over to the left and click on the add new option. Once in the form builder, let's give our form a name. Let's make a job application, so we'll call it that. And to save some time, let's use the file upload form template. The template comes with some basic fields already, like fields for a user's name, email address, and phone number. And as you can see, it also comes with a file upload field that they'll be able to use to attach a resume, cover letter, or anything else. When you click on the file upload field, you'll be able to customize it in a few different ways. Like with most fields, you'll be able to edit the label and description, but you'll also be able to make some specific customizations here too. The Allowed File Extensions field will let you limit or restrict the types of files that can be uploaded. So for example, if you want users to upload an image, but will only accept certain file types, you can specify which file types are in this field here, and separate each type with a comma. You can also specify the maximum file size you'll allow users to upload in megabytes. It's worth noting though that if this field is left blank, the value will automatically default to the maximum size your file server will allow. You can find out what this limit is by hovering over the tooltip icon beside the field. If you need this limit increased, please be sure to reach out to your site's hosting provider. You can also set the maximum number of files a user can upload at one time and decide whether or not this field will be required before a user can submit the form. Under the advanced options, you can choose between two different styles modern or classic. The modern style is turned on by default and allows users to drag and drop files to attach to your form. This is also the style you should have enabled if you'd like for users to be able to attach multiple files at one time to your form. The classic style is instead a more compact file upload field, features a choose file button rather than a drag and drop style, and most importantly, will only accept one upload per field. You'll also notice a checkbox labeled Store File in WordPress Media Library. By default, all files uploaded by users are stored in the WP Forms folder inside the Uploads directory of your site. But if you'd like to make this a bit simpler, you can check this box and opt to have the files stored in your WordPress Media Library instead. Once you've configured the settings for your file upload field, let's go on over to the Settings tab on the left and make sure that our notifications are set up correctly. The admin email in this field is the admin email address for your WordPress site, so if you'd like the notification to go to a different email address, you can make that change in this field here. It's important to note that since file attachments can often hurt email deliverability, WP Forms doesn't attach your user's files in notification emails. So if, for example, a user uploaded an image, you won't see the image itself in the email notification. Instead, we send the file upload via email as links. After your notification settings are done and ready to go, be sure to configure your confirmation settings and we're now ready to add our form to our page. Go to your dashboard and click on Pages, Add New, and let's add a title to our page. From there, we'll click on the plus icon below the title 
and either scroll down to widgets to find WP Forms, or you can type WP Forms in the search bar above. We'll then click on our job application form, hit publish, and we're all set. Let's go ahead and click on the link to the page to test our new file upload form. Let's fill out our form and upload a test resume into the file upload field, along with an image just to make sure both files are submitted correctly. Now that the form's been submitted, let's go to the entries page and look for it. And as you can see, both files are here and ready for us to use. Before you go live, be sure to test your form thoroughly to make sure that everything from submitting the form to receiving the email notifications is working properly. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit WPForms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed and found this video helpful, subscribe to our YouTube channel, where you can learn more about building smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.